Hello, today I'm going to be talking about infrasound, noises that you can't hear but that still affect you in a big way. Have you ever wondered why some houses are haunted or why people see ghosts? Some researchers looked into it and they have multiple instances of this. They hooked up acoustic equipment and measured a lot of infrasound. So for example, 18 hertz seems to be a frequency that really disagrees with humans. There's a lot of things that happen at 18 hertz. So for example, um, earthquakes resonate at 18 hertz. A tiger's growl has a lot of 18 hertz frequencies in it. And as a result, 18 hertz makes people really feel uneasy. So now the problem is, is you, don't, you can't hear it. Hearing starts at about 20 hertz, just for the sake of definition. One hertz is one cycle per second. So 20 hertz means 20 vibrations per second. We're not able to hear anything slower than that. So if something is vibrating at 18 hertz, we don't hear it and we don't process it, at least not consciously, but somehow we evolve to respond to it. So haunted houses, when they've investigated haunted houses, one of the things that they've found is that they often have resonant frequencies from pipes or some other source um, in the infrasonic range, like 18 or 19 hertz. And around 18 hertz happens to be the resonant frequency of the human eyeball. And some have speculated that because your um, eyeball is vibrating at this resonant frequency, it makes you see images, your eyeball is vibrating, and essentially it makes you see ghosts. So there's that. And people have toyed with this. So for example, they've set up large speakers and they have played 18 hertz recordings at concerts and so on and it made people really uneasy and feel really edgy and by the way I realize there's a lot of background noise I'm still in that little town outside of Mexico uh, with a lot of Q's and oh, with a lot of X's and T's and C's in it that I can't pronounce. Another interesting thing that happens below 20 hertz that's that's still well within the hearing range of elephants so elephants actually communicate with each other using infrasound. They can vibrate their larynx at frequencies between you know, one, and, 1 and 20 hertz. And they can broadcast this sound over miles. Uh, people had wondered how elephants were able to coordinate activities over long distances until they discovered infrasound. They're communicating by, by vibrate. And other elephants are able to hear the vibrations from miles away and process them. Um, now, don't get carried away with this, but you shiver at about six to eight hertz, which means an elephant can hear you shiver. Have fun the next time you go to the zoo. Now, just because you can't hear it doesn't mean it doesn't affect you. We already talked about how these infrasounds can make people edgy, but wouldn't you know what the government and the military got involved and they found that by playing infrasounds at very high volumes, they could cause bad things to happen. And by bad things, well, they, they use these for riot control. So for example, if they transmitted infrasounds at high intensities from two different directions, they could make people uh, feel extremely uncomfortable. I, I, I've heard it being described as it feeling like your skin is on fire. Um, other frequencies that they toyed with made uh, people, as they say, defecate uncontrollably. And they plan to use that in the military, for example. The enemy forces are approaching, you turn up the speaker, everybody dumps their fatigues, and they have to turn around and go back. It's not really the way we want to get to a peaceful world, but you know, whatever works. Uh, other things cause nausea, they cause vomiting. This is just a short one, but you wanna click subscribe because that way you'll find out when new stuff like this comes out. If there's anything else you want to learn about, let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time.